In the middle of Nepal and Tibet, there is a mountain that we are all familiar with. Mount Everest. Since Everest is in the middle of an insane mountain range, when you look at it, it doesn't look that significant. It's not like a singular mountain like Mount Damavand or Fuji, where it shows itself from a very far distance. The summit of Mount Everest reaches more than 8400 meters, and its average temperature up there is minus 60 degrees Celsius. Scarier than the temperature is the amount of oxygen found at the summit because it's only one third of the oxygen you find at sea level, so breathing is extremely hard. If you've seen our video about the closest town to space, La Rinconada in Peru, you're familiar with the amount of oxygen and how hard it is to breathe over there because there's only 50% oxygen available. Even though climbing Mount Everest is extremely brutal, but every year more than 10,000 people try to climb it. And the main reason all this climbing goes on is mainly due to social media, because they really want to look cool for people online and they want to make themselves stand out for doing something extremely difficult. Even though sometimes they're doing it just for likes, it's an extremely hard sport and it's dangerous. So it's not like anyone can do it. It's extremely impressive someone can because you need a very athletic body to survive up there. And one of the reasons that a lot of people are climbing Mount Everest nowadays is because of the technology available and it's much safer than let's say 20 years ago. But it's still a very dangerous sport and there's a lot of risk to it. And when these climbers reach the peak, they say we're on top of the world. This is when the situation gets complicated because is Everest really the top of planet Earth? A lot of scientists and geologists believe that Everest is actually not the highest point on Earth. They believe that planet Earth is always changing and it's alive in every shape or form. So you really can't say for sure this part of the world is higher than the other. Everest has the highest peak from sea level but if you actually measure it from the bottom of the mountain, it's not the highest. The only reason we know that Everest is the highest is because in the year 1852, the British and the Indians actually measured Mount Everest. And this is the time they said, this is the highest peak on planet Earth. Everybody knows that the mountain ranges around the world is because of tectonic plates. And the most famous mountain range, the Himalayas, was created because of the Indian subcontinent crashing into the Eurasian plate, creating this massive mountain range, which Everest lies in the middle of. Even though the Himalayas is the tallest mountain range in the world, it's one of the youngest because it's not even 50 million years old. To get an understanding on how young the Himalayas is, the Alps mountain range in Europe is more than 770 million years old. But these mountains aren't only created on planet Earth. You will find it in most rocky planets in the solar system, especially Mars, where the biggest mountain in the world lies. This mountain is a volcano named the Olympus Mons. And you might not believe it, it's more than 25,000 meters high. And that means its summit is in outer space. It's so massive that it has the same size of Italy or the state of Arizona. If Olympus Mons was on planet Earth and you wanted to climb it, you would have to wear a spacesuit because you would technically be in outer space if you climbed it all the way to the top. Since planet Earth is more than 4.6 billion years old, but why is the oldest mountain range under a billion years old? Mountain ranges has formed from the beginning of planet Earth. But just like we said, Earth is not as stable as you think. It's always going through changes. And that means new mountain ranges are going to be born and the older ones are going to die. In simple terms, you can say that underneath the mountain, there could be a sinkhole 
and the mountain will literally fall through. Even though in human history it has not been seen, but history shows and geologists believe that this has happened plenty of times throughout Earth's history. And another way to put it is that the entire crust of the planet Earth is on molten magma. So it's technically floating on a type of liquid. And sometimes that part of the liquid is softer than the other. So this causes a mountain range which weighs a lot more than any other part of the crust to fall through. With the help of satellites, our knowledge about the planet has gone up a bunch. Like for example in the year 2015 when an earthquake happened in the country of Nepal, that caused one part of the Himalayas to drop 60 centimeters lower. And that's a significant drop for a mountain range that climbs millimeter by millimeter each year. So 60 centimeters all of a sudden is insane. And this truly shows us that anything is possible. The entire mountain range could have fallen at that part. And that part of the Himalayas would be gone in history. But this time it fell 60 centimeters. Mount Everest, since it's very young, it's still growing. About 4 to 5 millimeters each year. So technically, in 100 million years, Mount Everest will be taller by 5 kilometers. But that's if nothing happens to it. Because there's always a chance that disaster could struck or it could fall through. There is another very tall mountain in the Himalayas in the Pakistan part called the Nanga Parbat. This mountain is growing faster than Everest, so it's 7 millimeters each year. And that means in about 240,000 years, it will pass Mount Everest in size. But while all these mountains are growing, a dormant volcano in Iran called the Damavand is slowly going down. But it's not like there's a sinkhole underneath and it's slowly going down. It's actually the elements that's causing it to get smaller and smaller. But that's nothing because it's not even one millimeter each year. But geologists believe that it is not growing. Let's go look at another mountain in the state of Hawaii. Mauna Kea. If you count this mountain from the sea level, it's only 4,205 meters tall. But the bottom of the mountain goes all the way to the depths of the ocean. If you want to calculate its actual height, it's 10,211 meters. And technically, this is the tallest mountain on planet Earth. If you want to look at Mount Everest, you have to go in the middle of the Himalayas. So what you're truly seeing is just a 4,000 meter tall mountain because you're already standing at around 4,000 meters elevation. So it's not as significant as it seems. The tallest mountain that you can see its entirety is Mount Denali in the state of Alaska. When you look at this mountain, you could see 5,900 meters of mountain. You should also know that Mount Denali is also the tallest mountain in North America. So now we realize that mountains are more complicated than we think and the way they measure them today is by sea level. You might ask why don't they measure the tallest mountain with satellites? Well they do and the answer for this is different once again. And the main reason for that is planet earth is not a perfect sphere and the crust sometimes is taller than you think, especially the northern and southern part of the planet compared to east and west. If you want to find the highest mountain in terms of the center of planet Earth, the tallest mountain will be found in South America, Mount Chimborazo in Ecuador. This mountain from sea level is only 6,310 meters, but since the Earth's crust is much thicker in this area, this caused the entire area of Ecuador, especially this mountain, to be higher than everywhere. And technically, Mount Chimborazo is the closest place to space than anywhere else. Once again, we're back speaking about how Earth is alive and it's always going through changes and nothing is permanent. 